Hello, this is Tara. You guys, last night, well, early this morning, I had the strangest dream. Never mind my lip gloss. Oh, my teeth look terrible. Is that bad or uh? Okay, anyway. I'm on my break, my lunch break, and I came into the break room. This lip gloss is called um, Freaking Fierce or something like that by, um, is it Girl King Incorporated, INC, Girl King or something like that. So it's like a um, iridescent, it's a clear lip gloss with these blue shimmers in it. Okay, so I didn't put on any um, lip liner or anything like that. Um, I forgot. It didn't feel like putting on any lip liner either because I'm just simply trying to moisturize my lips because I couldn't find my lip gloss that I wanted to put on my lips. Anyway, long story short. Um, my eye makeup is atrocious too. And you see all this glitter that's on my face. And I really hate to use glitters and stuff like that. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to brush some of this glitter off. Okay, so early this morning, I woke up because I went to bed early. And whenever I go to bed early, I always wake up around about 2, 3 o'clock. So I ended up going to sleep. It was after 9. I want to say it was after 10. And I woke up around about 1 o'clock and couldn't get back to sleep. I was so mad because it messes up my sleep, messes up my rest. So, so, I was listening to the man of God, Dietrich Hatton, if those of you all who know him. And he was talking about how the church is being exposed and how the Christians and the church is out here looking crazy. And um, he was saying, um, he just went into how um, a lot of the white evangelicals are saying this and that um, concerning the election. Now, I won't say which party I am, who I vote for, or who I didn't. I'm not scared. I had some chips. That's probably some um, Doritos. It's probably why my teeth looking like kind of orangey. But anyway, long story short. So this this what happened. So when the Democrats win, it's like the Republicans, okay, it, it's a big deal. You know, they're just so mad, so angry. When the Democrats win, it's like the Republican, Republicans get mad, get angry, and especially during this time. You know, Donald Trump still may be the president. He is the current president. He doesn't have to leave office until the 21st of next year. However, he is demanding a recount, okay, and recount in certain areas. Okay, and so um, he get the recount, and he still could be president for four more years. A lot of ministers, a lot of prophets, a lot of evangelicals were um, saying that God told them that he would get four more years. 
now they're out here looking crazy because he was voted out. So now we have to make a right wrong. So either we're going to recount these ballots and we're going to put Donald Trump back in whether he won or not so we don't look crazy. Or we're going to get mad and start saying this, this, that, and the other to try to save face because you said, God said, Donald Trump would get a second term and he was not voted in. Hopefully the Democrats did not steal the election. Hopefully Biden did not steal the election. Hopefully there was no voter fraud. Hopefully not. I pray not because that would be a big embarrassment to the Democratic Party and to the United States of America, period. But it's not like voter fraud has not been in question in previous relationship, relate, previous elections where the Republicans got in office. And I just don't understand why do they fight so much when, and which is the right thing to do, by the way, when you think some type of voter fraud or something is going on, but the Democrats don't do the same thing when the races are so close, you know, they just concede. You know, they just concede. I'm tripping because I, this is my Bobby Brown palette, okay, that I have on my eyes. And my eyes, they looking kind of black right now, like black eye almost. Um, I try to do a smoky eye. It, it's okay. You know, it turned out okay, but, you know, I don't. I won't do this combination again, especially not these lips without a liner. But anyway, so I woke up and I was listening to Dietrich Hatton saying, you know, how he felt about it because he was like, he was just speaking peace. He was like, you know, come on, let's not fight. You know, we out here, we looking crazy, the church looking crazy, you know, so forth and so on and whatever, whatever, whatever. And then he said, you know, everybody saying God told them, God told them, God told them, but nobody, I never really heard, me personally, not talking about Dietrich Hatton, but me personally, I never heard anybody say, oh, God told me Joe Biden was going to win. Nobody never said that. Everybody was saying that they had a dream or that the God told them that Trump was going to win. A lot of people on YouTube that I watch and listen to supposed to be Christians and, you know, godly people and prophets. And pro you now there's a couple of people that I listen to didn't say that because some of them are Democrats. And even if God had told them that, they weren't going to repeat it. <laughs> because they didn't want that to be so anyway. <sighs> Excuse me, y'all. That's getting on my nerve. With my teeth looking like that. I do have... Uh, my teeth are stained. But you all have seen other videos of me. With my teeth not looking like this, so um, excuse me, that's the chair. So, listen, as I was listening to Dietrich Hatton, and he was talking about the Bible does say, "In my last day, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and my and the sons and the daughters and the old men and the young men, people would dream and prophesy." So I said, "That's true." So, this is the thing. Now, people think I'm crazy anyway. So, if I was to all of a sudden start prophesying and dreaming dreams, they'd be like, yeah, she crazy. Nobody would listen to me. And so, that's this minister named Dana Cornerstone, Coverstone. I'm like, he can't get no sleep. This man is dreaming all the time. And I'm like, he's always telling people, I had a dream last night. God gave me a dream, and I saw a dream, and I seen a big old hand on the on the, on the the calendar, and it was pointing to this date, and so forth and so on. So November 22nd or something like that is something big that's supposed to happen, according to Dana. It's a male, he's a male minister on YouTube that I know. He probably is on other channels, too, like, he on platforms like Instagram and Facebook, but I just watch him on YouTube. I'm like, Dana, he can't, he can't sleep for all the dreams that he's having, right? So, after I got through watching, listening to um, Dietrich, I fell asleep. 
and when you know it, I had a dream. So this is what the video is really about. I had the weirdest dream. I dreamed that there was a storm. I did not see the storm. I just know when I looked outside, it was gloomy, kind of wet, things like that. A storm had happened. Then, you know, when looking out the window, I was at my daughter's house. And I was looking out of my grandson's window. And I could see a large tree had fallen um, in the parking lot, um, uh, in the apartments, like, towards the back. Because she lives in the back. But there are some more apartments in the further back behind her. So the apartments behind her, a large tree had fallen and across the parking lot and everything. But I didn't see any damage to anything. Okay? Then, I think I got up and went in my daughter's room or whatever. I may have said something to her or whatnot. Not sure. Looking out. Then I came back in my grandson's room and I looked out the window again. I wasn't going to, but I was. And the thing that made me look out the window, because the blinds were kind of closed. They were closed, but sort of open. Let me say that. They were mostly closed. And the blinds, I could tell, like, there's a lot of light coming in through the window. Something looks clear. Because my grandson's window, outside his window, there's a lot of pine trees. They're small. I mean, they are not that. They're tall, but they're not big and round. They're not fat. There's a lot of pine trees, okay? Um, so, which we have a lot in, in Georgia. So, I looked out the window again, and I'll see all these trees just gone. Just laying down, laying around, and whatnot on the floor, on the ground. And I'm like, what in the world happened? These trees were just standing not too long ago. Right? So. When you know it. I said, even this tree. Because that was a tree like closer to the window. I said, this tree has fallen. But it didn't do any damage. It didn't fall on the apartment or anything. And for the tree to fall the way the way that it fell and as close as it was to the uh, building, it should have fallen and hit the building somewhere, hit the apartment or something. Thank God, right? Then, wouldn't you know it, the tree moved. It was a dinosaur. <laughs> I'm like, what the... You know, you got to watch what you listen to before you go to sleep. I'm dead serious. Because, you know, it just put all kind of thoughts, feelings, opinions, and images in your mind. And when you go to sleep, you know, the, that, that image is playing. That movie is playing. So, you know, that was the dream I had. It was the weirdest dream. The tree that was close to the house moved. And when it lifted up, lifted the head up, it was a dinosaur. I'm like, what does that mean? <laughs> you know, I don't know what that means. If you know what that dream means, tell me. If you had a weird dream or you've been dreaming lately, weird dreams and things like that, let me know. Um, tell me, don't lie now, <laughs> just to be saying something, but tell me a weird dream that you've had, dream that you've had lately. Oh, I also have my teeth whitening system that I bought on a pop-up a while ago for like $49. And it's normally like $99 to 100 You know, teeth whitening systems are expensive. They're anywhere between two to $300. And I got it from Boxy Trim on a pop-up. So the Luxy box in December, they let me pick an item and then they say your second item. So I picked two items. So I don't know if that means I'm going to pick one item, and if that one isn't available, I get the second item, or they're going to try to give me two items of my choice in the Luxie. So, we'll see. And, you know, box, Ipsy bought box charm, okay? Um, so, I think that's something that Ipsy does with its um, Glam Bag Plus or something like that. So, anyway, <laughs> with that being said... 
I gotta get my teeth whitened, especially down here. See, they they stained, but not as bad as it looked at first. See, it looked a little better. So, anyway, I think it's also this lip gloss because this lip gloss has like blue and purple shimmers in it. And anytime you wear purple lip gloss, it's gonna make your teeth look yellow. I mean, it's well, it's gonna, I guess, show the true colors or whatever. Okay, so next thing I want to talk about is this in this fasting. So I've been doing this intermittent fasting. Okay, so my hours to eat are between 12 noon and 8 p.m. at night. Today I broke down. I ate breakfast today. Yeah, I ate breakfast today. So I'm gonna have to change my time where I can eat breakfast and lunch, but I may not be able to eat dinner. But that, see, I don't always, now breakfast, I don't always eat breakfast on the weekend. I don't always eat lunch on the weekend. But I'm most likely to try to eat dinner. So I'm going to therapy, I'm gonna go to therapy to see why. Why can't I just, you know, why can't I just, um, why can't I just, um, lose this weight? Oh, excuse me, and what's going on with me? Because the thing is, I have, um, I can't focus. I lose my train of thought. Then, um, also with learning, like if I try to learn something new right now, it's like I have to write down so many notes. I just can't comprehend it or remember on my own what I'm supposed to do and so forth and so forth and so on. So, um, what else I want to talk about? Ah, yeah, they, you get little snowflakes. So when you need, when you have an, a hard time or when you need to take a break from the fasting, you collect these little snowflakes flakes and you get a break um, from the fasting. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to change my time. And then tomorrow is, um... You know, normally on Wednesday, this um, this ministry that I listen to, um, Warrior Nation, they do something called Destiny Over Donuts. And Wednesday is the day that they fast. And um, I listen to a couple of ministries, actually. And the reason why I listen to a couple of ministries is because I stopped going into the church the four walls. I stopped doing that about a year, a year and a half ago. And um, I've been watching it on television. You know, I've been watching it on television. So um, so watching it on social media is not bad. It's not a bad thing for me. I mean, so I I don't have energy, and I mean, just, I, I don't have a desire to date or be with anybody. I don't have a, the energy or desire to do much of anything at all. So, yeah, um... Let me see what else. Yeah, so I broke that fast, but I got to get back on track. So I think a therapist would do me some good, plus everything that's going on in the world now. Um, 
you know, they probably need to talk to somebody. So you know if the therapist and the psychologist need to talk to somebody, <laughs> you do too. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so with that being said, oh, my daughter cooked some oxtails Sunday. She scorched them a little bit. So, they taste good, but they were scorched, you know. And so, I'll probably eat some when I, um, you know, go home for dinner. Um, I'm just ready to go home, period, to my house, to my own place. That's what I'm ready to do. I'm just ready to go. I'm just ready to go. So, yeah, um, I did not post the, um, the, the recording of, you know, the look. I didn't, I didn't post it. So, no, it, nothing spectacular. So, that's why I didn't do it. <laughs> nothing spectacular. So, that's why I didn't do it. So, I might post it anyway. I might post it. Okay, so I had to come out of there. Because somebody was eating in the other break room. And so I was sitting in that one talking, which I was getting ready to leave anyway. And then somebody came in that break room to have lunch. So, yeah. I feel like I'm losing weight. At first, I was doing so good. I lost. I was 304 when I first started the fasting. Then, three weeks in, I was 300. And then I got on the scale and weighed myself. And after, when I weighed myself, it said 298. I'm like, what? But the scale on the holes, the saved the um, weight for so long and then I got off and then I just went on in the room I said I'll weigh myself again later some other time right so get back on the scale a day later A day later, and just the ice machine where I do my but right now, I want something sweet. Just not gonna get it. It's weird, right? Mm-mm. 
This water is dingy. Hold on. <laughs> I can't drink that water out of that machine. So now I'm wondering if the ice is as clean as it looks. And sometimes after I've run the ice machine for so long, just to try to I'm running the water. I just want to get some water. After running the ice machine for so long, so many times to get what I would think is clean ice. <laughs> but it's all coming out the same machine. Isn't that weird? Microwave. I'm going to microwave me some water from the sink. Yeah. But um, I'm just pouring out the coffee from this morning. pouring it out while wow, my water is getting hot so I'm just doing a whole vlog about nothing really so I guess we're gonna have to start cleaning cleaning these pots out because they will get dingy these pots so anyway you know what I'm saying I'm gonna get me some hot chocolate because hot chocolate is cool in in this building because it's air conditioned. So I'm gonna get the hot chocolate. That's the one the perks of working for a hospital is you get free coffee, free tea, free hot chocolate, free ice, and it's it's probably free filled to ice and water, but <laughs> okay, whatever. So we had to sign this paper saying, you know, if we would work at home, Whatever, whatever, whatever. So you know I didn't read it. I just signed it. And gave it to the supervisor. And I didn't keep a copy of it. So let's hope I'm not gonna <laughs> sign my life away. And um it's the hot chocolate. want it to already be open when I get ready to pour it. So, yeah. Whoever they decide is the president. That's who the president is. You know? Yay, Donald. Yay, Joe. You know? Whoever it is, they got a mess to clean up. They have a mess to clean up. And they supposedly came coming out with this COVID-19 vaccine. Which most people saying they not taking it. I've been said I ain't taking it. And the only reason why I take the flu shot it's because I work in the hospital you can opt out of taking it 
but it, it, it affects your performance evaluation. It affects your merit increase. It affects your raise. top on here. So, oh, I'm just thinking about something. So hopefully we'll know who the president, Joe Biden is the president-elect. And he's acting real presidential right about now. But it's going to be embarrassing if he's not the president. Because Donald Trump, they say he's not going to concede, which he shouldn't. He should fight it if he think it's just cause. Because... My vote counts and matters just like yours. And whether I vote Democrat or Republican, I need for y'all not to mess with them votes and the ballots. So this mess don't happen no more. And this already don't happen with Bush. We shouldn't have to keep going through this. <laughs> I mean, for real. Let's be serious about this. All right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs up this video. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend about my channel. I love you for watching to the end.